and today we're going to talk about the difference of an egg in salt water and an egg in normal water. So firstly, if we put an egg in the normal water, you can see that it um, doesn't float, but actually sinks to the bottom. Whereas, if we add some salt to this water, mix it up, and the egg goes into this, it actually floats. And the reason because of this is actually density. Atoms are the basic units of matter and the defining structure of elements. On my left, this is a matter or object with a high density, which means that the atoms are sitting very close to each other. On my right, this is an object with low density. As you can see, the atoms are very far from each other. This is a density picture about the aforementioned egg, plain water and salt water. As you can see, the density of the egg is higher than the plain water. Therefore, it sinks into the plain water. On the other hand, as the density of the egg is lower than the salt water, therefore it floats. Density explains why oil floats above water when you pour oil into water. Density of ice is lower than seawater, therefore ice floats on the sea. Ships are big, but their density is lower than seawater. Ships float on the sea. The concept of density is not new to us. In what jobs is this concept applied? Marine engineers use density to design ships which floats, or submarines that sink. Meanwhile, aeronautic engineers apply density in designing aeroplanes. Plumbing engineers use this concept to design dams and large-scale plumbing projects. There are other professionals, such as chemists or lab researchers, who also adopt this concept in their lab experiments.